Well, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing great today. It's another video I'm going to put out. Just a little quick one to highlight another triangulation of data that you may wonder, what does horse racing have to do with Negro League and black baseball history? So I'm going to tell you my opinion anyway. So I came across this book. I picked it up about 10 years ago. This is the life of an African-American athlete, Jimmy Wingfield, James Wingfield, who was a thoroughbred race horse jockey back in the late 19, 1880s, 1990s into the 20th century. And this book is by Joe Drape, who was a New York Times best-selling author of several books on history and a columnist for New York Times, for the New York Times. And Jimmy Winkfield is just another example of why I keep trying to point out that the stories are important. So I came across this book, I bought it about 10 years ago. I mentioned a couple times in videos that I have moved, came across a lot of things I didn't remember that I even had. So Jimmy Winkfield is a legend in horse racing and in African-American sports. Um, and this story, the epic life of an American legend, Black Maestro, is his life story. He was a Kentucky native, began his career as a jockey, I believe, in the late 1890s, 1898, somewhere around in there, at the age of maybe 16, 17 years old. So from there, though, he finds his way to Europe and to Russia and Poland during the Russian Revolution, 1917. So he is racing in Russia. He is a frequent patron of the czars in Russia. And this story is just an incredible, it, it's not just a life story, it's an adventure story. You don't think of sports books as being an adventure story, but just a little highlight here at the age of 37, he was involved in the Bolshevik Revolution, rubbing shoulders with Russian nobility. I mean, you just can't, I mean, like I said, the, these stories are, are stories I think that people need to know. And, and what does this have to do with black baseball? And, and you know, it, it's been my contention for a long, long time that the stories are just as important as the stats because we don't have all the stats and without these stories written about many of the black baseball and Negro League baseball history figures that we know, um, you, the, what has happened recently in Major League Baseball with the recognition of the Negro Leagues would not have happened. And, you know, it, this is just another example, horse racing where African-American athletes were pushed to the back pushed out of sports that they dominated. I'm gonna talk a little bit more on Twitter today about several more who were the first millionaire African-American athletes that no one has heard of that had to do with horse racing, but it's why these stories are important. I'm gonna keep on telling them. I'm gonna keep highlighting the people that have been telling them for many, many years. And, and don't dismiss the stories. The stats don't tell all of the stories highlighted that in many of the episodes that I have had on my live stream with authors. Those stories are there for a reason. And you can slant them any way you want. You can say that they had nothing to do with, you know, reality. They were embellished or whatever. You can slant them. And in the case of John Donaldson, that he chose to go play barnstorming because he wasn't good enough, wasn't man enough to go play <clears throat> in the Negro National League or in professional baseball. Uh, yeah, no. <clears throat> There's reasons these guys all have for doing what they did. Many of them were shaped by the Jim Crow and segregation of the time. So this is Black Maestro by Joe Drape. I'm gonna talk a little bit more on Twitter today, but it is just another triangulation of the stories that no one has heard of and why in Negro League Baseball history, they are important as well. So have a great day, guys.